Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to create this animation with elements ready in After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, let's create new solid layer. Right mouse, new and solid. Add the name Elements 3D and color black. Click OK. And go to FX, Video Copilot, Element. Let's click Scene Setup and Import. Select these two 3D models, click Open and click OK. Let's click OK. So click Normalize Size and select Map Pin, also Normalize Size and move the back. Okay, so for now, let's hide Map Pin and let's work with Earth Layer. Let's open inside and we have two materials. First material, Water and second material countries okay so let's go to presets in physical i will use flat color let's drag and drop for use blue color and select this flat color let's go to material settings and change diffuse fall and this ambient 0 0.05 and glossiness 50 and environment reflection 325 and for better lighting let's go to lighting and choose 100 ambient for flat style and let's use again flat color for this green part and select flat color and choose color green click ok and diffuse 4 and ambient 0 0.05 and reflection 50 and environment colors 325 okay not bad and let's enable show ambient occlusion for C shadows and let's select this map pin let's enable and first go to auxiliary channel and choose Arc Channel 1. Okay, and use flat color for this. Open inside, select material, and color. Let's use color red. And diffuse, change 5, and glossiness 50, and environment reflection 325. Okay, and select this scale tool change scale and let's change view left and let's click move tool and enable axis icon and move to down this anchor point and let's lock again back to perspective and let's change scale okay and let's move up here and move like this let's change view top and let's put here and back to perspective and move the inside a little bit okay not bad and let's select this map control D for duplicate and move to here move to down move to front and change rotation Okay, we can use it. And in this time, let's select this map pin. This is aux channel 1 and this map. Change aux channel 2 and this aux channel 3 and this aux channel 4. And let's 1, 5. And select the earth model and choose aux channel 6. And let's click OK. And select this Elements 3D, go to Render Settings and Lighting. Let's choose here again 100 Ambient Light Style. And open Ambient Occlusion, enable here 
and let's see shadow change shadow intensity 10 and let's go to first group and open particle replicator and rotation i'm gonna add keyframe for y rotation let's create y rotation and go to eight seconds change this one let's see okay nice okay and let's close particle replicator and open aux channels and channel one let's change scale zero and let's zoom in here go to five q frames create scale q frame go to 10 q frames change scale one and let's press U for C Q frames. Go to some Q frames and change scale a little bit for bounce animation. Again, go three Q frames, one to three, change one. And make it easy. Let's see. Select last three Q frames, hold Alt, move right. Nice. Okay, let's close channel one and open channel two. And change scale 0, create scale keyframe, and go to here, change 1. And press U, select keyframes, move to left. And these keyframes move to right. Okay, and let's open channel 3, change scale 0, and create scale keyframe. Go to here, change 1. Okay, and close channel 3, open channel 4, change scale 0. Create scale Q frame and go to here, change 1. And channel 5, change scale 0. Go to here, create scale Q frame and go to 5 Q frame, change 1. And press U for see new active Q frames and make it. All of them easy. Okay, that's good. And we can fix these problems. Let's open scene setup and let's see it's ready. Okay, and select this map and move to back here and change rotation. And click OK. OK, that's good. So in this time, let's create new background layer with solid. Add name background, click OK. Move to behind of layer and go to FS presses, search effect gradient ramp. Select gradient ramp, use for background. And choose color dark blue and end color and change ramp shape radial ramp and swap colors and select this point move to down and this point okay and change ramp scatter 100 or let's change 200 okay and select these elements ready Okay, let's create new camera, click OK, and press C. We can control camera movements with these three icons, or we can press C in keyboard, and let's zoom a little bit. Okay, that's good. So let's create stars, right mouse, new and solid, add name star, click OK. And go to FS Presses, search effect CC Starbust, select CC Starbust, use for star solid layer. And let's go to solo. And I'm gonna change solid layer. Select this star. Let's go to FS Presses, search effect fill, use fill for solid layer, and change color white. And go to Starbust, change sizes like this. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is very fast. Let's change speed 0.01. Let's see. Nice. We can change size like this. 
Okay, I like it. Let's change scatter. Nice. Let's unsolo layer and search effect glow. Select glow, use four stars. And change settings and move to behind of element 3D. Okay, that's good. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments and have a good day. Good luck.